Hi, for this video what I want to do is discuss with you how to find a domain of a logarithmic function. Um, I did write down the general rules for domain range and asymptotes when you are dealing with logarithmic functions. So if you have a log of any base of x, your domain or your x values are going to be anything from 0 to infinity. Or you could write it in set notation as x such that x is greater than 0. Okay, it does not include 0. It's really important to understand that it does not include 0. It has to be greater than 0. The range is any real number. So you could also say that this is all real numbers. And you will have a vertical asymptote wherever your starting value for your domain is. Okay. Um, so I just have a couple down here finding the domain. We're only going to find the domain because the range is going to be the same for all of them because it's always going to be all real numbers. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for the parentheses part of your logarithm. So we're just going to look at this part right here. That part has to be greater than zero. It cannot equal zero and it doesn't matter what your base is. It's whatever is in the parentheses with the logarithm. Um, that has to be greater than zero. So for this particular one, we would say that x is greater than seven. So if you have to write your answer in interval notation, you would just say that it is seven to positive infinity. If you need to write it in set notation, you would just say x such that x has to be greater than seven. Okay, um, so the following one, or the next one, um, it does say natural log. Remember that natural log is just log base e. So this part right here, the x plus 1, does have to be greater than 0. So you would just solve that equation, and you would say that x is greater than negative 1. So our domain would be from negative 1 to positive infinity, or if you wrote it in set notation, x such that x has to be greater than negative one. So anytime you are looking for the domain, you are going to take whatever part is next to the logarithm and set it greater than zero. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.